the new reality we found ourselves walking into is nature's way to protest against our habits and behavior, and maybe even defend itself from us. Nature found a way to shut us down, to shut the whole world down. But this coronavirus will pass like all the other viruses. And then what? We are going through a global crisis, and we need to think how things are going to be rebuilt after the storm. Will we go back to normal? Will we ignore the calling of nature? Nature gave us a sign, a huge sign this time. Nature needs a minute to breathe, to heal itself from the continuous damage we're causing it. We have two choices. One, we go back to normal and pretend like nothing never happened and continue with our destructive habits and react to what nature has throwing at us and pray that we'll be able to defend ourselves. Or, we can learn our lesson and change. Learn to respect nature and live beside it. Let nature breathe as well as ourselves. We, high school students, are the world's future leaders. We want to learn and be prepared for the future. Isn't that what school is all about? We protested. Now it is time to get ready for the change. How do we get ready? By learning the subject that is going to help us deliver the change. I am a Year 8 student learning Certificate 4 in Environmental Management and Sustainability. This course is training the young students how to be part of environmental management and sustainability in a range of workplace contexts and provides us with the skills and knowledge required to monitor and address environmental issues in a variety of industry sectors. When we talk about sustainability, we don't only talk about environmental, but also the social and economical side of a business. How does the course do that? Let me walk you through the eight units of the course. 